I think uh, digital plays a key role in uh, tourism uh, in many ways actually. So the first is uh, inspiration which means uh, you know digital actually helps people discover new destinations. Uh, you know their friends go and post their pictures on social uh, that inspires people. When you go to a trip planning site and you learn about an offbeat destination or your favorite travel site actually posted something on their Facebook fan page which actually inspires you to go there. Uh, right from that inspirational phase to research where you are looking at various options, planning your trip um, to actually landing at a place and then looking at things around you, places to visit, things to do, uh, you know, hotels uh, and, and maybe even local transport options. So uh, digital has actually enabled the access to information readily in your hands um, and, and now you know you do all that on a mobile device. Uh, and, and earlier on, you know, you'd have to go to tourism agency offices, uh, you'd have to go to the official tourist bureau, collect brochures, look at them. Now you do all that on a mobile device. So I think it saves you a lot of time and money, gives you a lot more confidence and you're able to discover new places, offbeat places, share experiences with your friends and also see their experiences and learn from them. That's happening more seamlessly and faster today. So 70% of the pie, actually e-commerce in every market in the world always started with online travel. The reason being that in online travel, there is no good that you have to deliver to any customer. Most of the time it's a service being delivered uh, in the form of an e-ticket, right, which can actually be readily sent over email. There is no logistics component to the business. Therefore, starting the business is relatively simpler and less capital intensive and these businesses take off faster because travel is a very basic human need. Uh, especially in India, if you look at trains, uh, 7 uh, billion or more trips happen every year uh, by trains and 30% of that is now being bought online. right? And the reason why it's being bought online is the, the alternative is very painful. You have to go and stand in a queue for, for an hour. right? Uh, with flights, the same thing, you know, the airlines wanted to reduce distribution costs. So uh, they wanted to take the travel agents out of the picture in the future. They wanted to make sure nobody ra ra rings up their call centers. So they had started selling tickets online and through the online travel agents and they were the cheaper option also to buy. And therefore people started buying it and, and they, the delivery is frictionless. Uh, it costs less. So it's a no brainer to start with. Uh, it's still huge. It's still 70%. And the reason is uh, I think over time, you know, as infrastructure has improved, uh, you know, not just flights and three, four, five star hotels, but also budget hotels, uh, you know, buses, uh, you know, even uh, taxis. Uh, we are going to start seeing an explosion on, on uh, people transacting all the local transportation online, right? So uh, that is what is maintaining that share at 70%. Uh, because still, if you look at the total volume of e-commerce happening in the country, uh, even though the volumes on travel might start looking lower, but the average ticket size is much higher because a flight on average is about six, seven thousand rupees. A hotel on average will be three, four thousand rupees. You know, a, a train ticket on average will be about a thousand rupees. So, uh, I, I think when you look at e-commerce or when you look at other, uh, you know, verticals, uh, you know, it, it starts looking, uh, it starts looking like uh, transaction value on travel will remain higher uh, because even over time people will buy more packages online. Packages are even higher value. So uh, in terms of value, travel will always remain a very uh, uh, lucrative part of the business. Uh, in terms of volumes, maybe over time, the rest of e-commerce will also start gaining market share. So Exigo is not an OTA. We actually are uh, a price comparison engine. Uh, we call ourselves a travel search engine uh, and a trip planning site because you can actually get information from multiple sources from multiple travel sites at one place. You can compare the fares, you can compare the inventory and you can choose where you want to book. So in that way it saves the pain out of going from one site to another, doing the same search again and again. Uh, and, and that is what makes us different from any other site because most of the other sites are transactional sites where you actually go to buy a ticket. Uh, we compare all those transactional sites at one place, uh, whether it's an airline website, hotel website, or online travel portal. And hence, uh, from a digital marketing point of view, uh, there were two very good things that happened. 
One is because the product is so unique and it solves a pain area which everybody faces, which is to find where the better fares are, uh, to make sure that you are buying at, at, at the best value. Uh, that's something that is so unique about our product that we don't even need to market it that much. You know, once somebody discovers it, they are bound to tell their friends about it because it helped them save time and money. So a lot of our initial marketing was word of mouth. Uh, in the you know in the la last few years, social has added to that because social accentuates the word of mouth. And to even deliver it further, we started doing uh, you know we started making videos which are uh, inspirational, educational, or funny. Uh, we did this travel hacks video. Uh, we did a hotel hacks video. These videos have actually crossed millions of uh, views uh, on on Facebook without spending any money on marketing, right? And and uh, uh, in terms of our growth strategy, typically we have uh, not invested in paid marketing mediums online. We have uh, usually built products and apps, and we've pushed those apps on all kinds of non-paid sources. Uh, we've done a lot of social. We've done a lot of viral stuff. Uh, and I think still 60% of our growth comes from word of mouth, uh, which is people telling other people about our site. So actually we are doing two things. One is every review that you leave on Exego, uh, you need to log in with uh, a trusted social login, either Facebook or G+. So you need to have a valid social login. You can't just create a random login. And uh, we have certain mechanisms to figure out whether your social login uh, is actually a genuine account or is it a fake account because you should have a, a certain number of friends, connections and certain activity on that account for us to know whether it's genuine or not. So there are algorithms which detect whether it's a fake account. The second step is after you leave the review, uh, we have a moderation team. Every review on Exigo, unlike many other sites, goes through a manual moderation process where we look at that. Uh, there's somebody who will take a look at it who will uh, take a call on whether it is genuine or not depending on a lot of parameters as well as there is algorithmic detection of IPs and uh, you know other stuff which uh, help us detect the suspicious inputs. Uh, lastly, we are also starting to do with mobile some kind of geofencing. So we, if we know that you are inside this hotel and you are reviewing it, it's likely to be a genuine review. right? So uh, we are going to start, uh, in fact we have already started testing this, but based on your location we will allow you to review certain places. Uh, on mobile and for those kind of reviews they will be called they will be uh, marked separately because those will be verified reviews right where we know that you were at the location we know that uh, you were actually uh, you know in that hotel or around that hotel and you're not just writing it from anywhere uh, and and I think uh, as uh, as the industry matures we will also do more things which will make sure that uh, you actually book that hotel uh, and, and before you uh, write that review, so we are also working on some solutions that will detect uh, and, and auto validate in case you had already booked it.